In this video, I'm gonna go over an incredibly useful Excel function you may not even know exists. So normally in Excel, when you type in the equal sign and then start typing in some characters, you'll see the, the different functions that are available. But there's one in here that you'll notice doesn't show up and that is one for calculating date difference. It's called date DIF. Doesn't show up in the list, but if I open parentheses, you'll notice that it does register as a function. And so it has three main arguments, a start date, an end date, and an interval. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to calculate the difference in months, days, and years using this function. So my start date is January 1, 2021. My end date, December 31, 2021. And if I wanna calculate the difference in months, in quotations, I'll put, a, put an M, close, and now it's going to tell me from January 1 to December 31, that's 11, 11 months difference, right? So there's a bit of rounding, right? That's almost almost 12 months there, but that's that's how the function works. It's going to look at, at full months. I can also use the, the days function, or not the days function, but the days as the argument. So date diff, it's like the start date, end date, and this time I'm going to type in D. Right, so 364, it's a bit more precise because now we've got it down to, to the day. So, you know, if I were to copy this, uh, copy this down, I can apply this to multiple dates and you can see based on the month we're in, so December 1 to December 31, it's zero full months away, right? And so again, I can do this for same thing here. I want to copy this down. And there's also a, a year's fun, a year's argument that you can use. So if I use date diff, this is my start date, this is my end date, type in a Y for a year, and you'll know that's that's obviously zero full years. But um, if I change the if I change my dates, like let's say I go to December 2024, then all these values change. Now we've got three full years, you've got the whole number of days, and the number of full months. All right, so this is a, this is a quick way to do calculations because if you're not using the date diff function, that can then it can be a little more challenging to try to calculate the difference in in months or 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 years. And the date diff function makes it uh, makes it pretty easy to do that as long as you know how it works. And if you want more details about this function, you can check out Microsoft.com and just search for date diff.